What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully, you guys are having a very, very good day today. And yes, I am super late here, but it was confirmed this morning here, around like 6 p.m. here. Um, or 6 a.m., sorry, in my time here. Um, that we do have here the confirmation that the six year anniversary for JP is going to be, in fact, here LRUI Goku and Royal Blue Vegeta here, which is really, really nice here. Uh, let me know down below, are you guys Team Goku or Team Vegeta? Shout out also to Air Dokkan. Uh, I, I'm kind of messing with the art with Vegeta here, but I think Goku might be the better unit here. I mean, he has to be the better unit, right? So, we'll just see what the card details here. Unfortunately, there's no card details, but they were leaked in the trailer here. So, it's actually very, very nice here. So, there's not much going on, but I mean, this is very, very good news here. I mean, I think a lot of people did suspect that UI Goku was going to be the 6 year anniversary, which makes a lot of sense. I'm very curious of to see what categories they're going to introduce here. I think they might introduce new categories. Uh, if they do, hopefully they're very good categories and not like special pose. Nothing against that, but special pose just isn't really a very good category. Or at least maybe they might be buffing some existing categories. Like I believe maybe Vegeta might be finally our first leader of 170 for the pure Saiyan. So that's a very good possibility, but we'll just see what's going to happen here. Um, and again, uh, also what's actually very, very good is that we are getting some... Um, new adventure as well, so shout out again to the boy Air Dokkan. So, there is going to be a new boss rush event, which I believe maybe might be 35 stones. Who knows, it might be a bit more. Um, we are also getting a new event here. Now, this event is the events of the Gods of Destruction. Now, apparently, word on the street is that this is maybe... This is a mixture between Extreme Super Battle Road and I, I believe maybe also um, Category Super Battle Road. So, I'm not too sure, right? But, I mean... This is very, very exciting. This might also maybe replace the Legendary Goku event, which again, that is really updated, so this is very much needed here. This will be a very cool, I guess, Infinite Dragon Ball History event or Legendary Goku event because you are facing, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You are facing 12 gods here, right? Let me get this. I'm sure I count that right. So that's 5, and that's, yeah, 12, right? So, I mean, that would be pretty good, pretty, pretty insane. I'm uh, very excited for this type of stage here because, I mean, Dokkan definitely need a new event here, so that's also very, very good. We are also getting some uh, support here from Zeno, also from Oolong here as well, which I think I did believe I skipped here. Uh, where is the Oolong memory? So there we go, another support type um, item here. Um, now, I'm not the biggest fan of the support memory. I, I mean, it's, it's a very good touch, uh, very good animation, but I feel like they should also maybe update some other items because, for example, there's like a bunch of items that I believe... 99% of the Dokkan community does not use, which is like the the um, the herb or even uh, I'm trying to think here, um, like those drinks there that like, would cover like 10,000 HP. I'll probably put a picture just to let you know guys what I'm talking about. But I mean, they should definitely update some items in the in the uh, game because just because no one uses them, right? So I mean, very very interesting. Uh, again, there are also, also going to be tickets, dragon stones, and also the uh, medals here. Now these medals. Um, are very very good. I would definitely recommend as I said last year for the five-year anniversary I uh, definitely want to use these metals for your uh, Potential orbs here because orbs are very very important again You could use them on elder Kai's depends what they put in the shop here But if they have orbs you definitely want to target orbs because orbs are very very crucial, right? Uh, another uh, event here is that we are getting dragon stones 30 dragon stones on your first login You get a redstone as well, and you are getting the free-to-play UI Goku um I'll say the six year anniversary, I want to say there's a lot of pressure just because, I mean, Dokkan's been a, a little bit dry so far, but I mean, it's kind of normal in the month of January, but I mean, I think there's like a, a lot of high expectations, so I have some very high expectations for UI Goku, maybe not Vegeta, but I do like Vegeta's art more than UI Goku, but UI Goku because he is the best character in the game or in the Dragon Ball universe, right? Um, well, supposedly, right? I don't want to be quoted saying that he's officially the best character. Uh, in Dragon Ball because some, it might trigger some people, but I mean, he's definitely like one of the t like top three strongest, right, in the Dragon Ball universe, so um, very high expectations. I Hopefully, he's going to be a better dodging unit than the UI Sign Goku. Just because UI Sign Goku, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of this character. Even though he's very good on paper, when it comes to actual gameplay on my account, he does not dodge. So I have some very high expectations. The only thing I do not want is I do not want to have a turn restriction with a HP restriction. That right there is a pain in the ass. So please, Dokkan, if you're listening, uh, if Akatsuki, if you're listening here, right? Please do not include a HP restriction with a turn restriction. That is just, even though he's really OP, if they're both OP, please do not include it. I mean, listen, 
the these guys are way too hyped to be like too restrictive right in my opinion right so i mean it's either i have an ace restriction or I have a turn restriction don't have both uh it's just really like really really tough right so um that's my i guess my two cents here for the uh new lr series just that i hopefully they're very busted they're very op and hopefully there's no hp and turn restriction at the same time uh, but honestly the art is not that bad my boys i really do enjoy the art but i do prefer vegeta's more though it's pretty like i don't know that's just me but i, I do prefer uh vegeta's here it's actually much nicer now uh, there's one thing i do want to cover as well here i mean they do talk about the revival here as well so they will introduce hopefully it's both of them that will introduce the revival mechanic um maybe you might need to have them both on the same turn which will be kind of weird I mean, it's not weird, but it's, I mean, it's not going to be very practical, right? Because, I mean, if you're someone that's a free-to-play player and you don't have that many stones, you can't bail out. I mean, that just sucks that you're not able to use the revival because you don't have the other units. So, I mean, it's going to be something, right? So, I think um, Bodem will have the revival. As you guys can see here, it says Fukatsu. Uh, now, there is some sneak peeks here. As you guys can see, the active skill being active and you have Vegeta doing the final flash. I wish I cannot wait because Vegeta's final flash deserves more respect. Even though right now... With the LR Blue Goku and Vegeta, his final flash is very, very good. But I feel like this one here will do it justice. Uh, and yeah, and that's about it. So there's not much really to go about. Uh, a lot of spe speculations. But I mean, I definitely believe that uh, these two characters will be the best characters in the game. In my opinion. Where are they? There we go. These two guys. Oh, actually, this art is much, much better. There we go. Uh, these two will be probably the best. Oh, look at Vegeta. Look at that. Woo! Sexy. I mean, yeah, uh, I would say they'll probably be the best units in the game, especially with LR, uh, Goku, and Frieza, right? Because they have the best leader skill in the game, which is 177 across the board. So these guys, Universe 7 got a huge, huge buff. Not to mention, I believe we're also getting an LR Roshi, uh, Roshi right? I'm not sure if I can find it here. Maybe I did skip it, I'm not too sure. I know LR Roshi is coming. Um, no, there's no LR Roshi here. Okay, that's fine. I mean, LR Roshi is coming. Um, so guys, oh, there he is. Actually, he's right there. There we go. How did I miss that? There we go. So there's Roshi. Apparently he's going to be an LR here, which is very, very nice. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very excited. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are Team Vegeta, you guys Team uh, Goku here. And let me know what your, your expectation, sorry, expectations are going to be for these cards here. Um, also, the homie Goresh did say that um, he does believe here that uh, these guys are going to be a non-transforming unit. Uh, but that's just speculation. But I mean, I think Gorash is pretty accurate. So I'm going to say here. Oh, there it is. There's a tweet. I am going to say here. That, um, I will back up Gorash here. That I think that these guys are going to be already in their form here. Again, you pair this up this Vegeta with the LR Goku and Vegeta. Or even the... Um, whatchamacallit. With LR Goku and Frieza. Or even the other um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This character is be smacking, going crazy. Uh, of course, if you pair up the... Uh, the new LR UI Goku with the Ultra Sign Goku. Um, that's going to be a very good combo as well. So Universe 7 is about to get a huge, huge buff here. Again, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys Team Vegeta or are you guys Team um, Goku here? And uh, yeah, hopefully, um, if you guys are going to summon on the banner, which I think everyone is going to be summoning on the banner, hopefully you guys are able to pull both of them. I'm sending you all my luck. Also, uh, I mean, it's almost kind of confirmed here that Gogeta is going to be the next uh, Dokkan Fest for Global. Because again, with the six-year anniversary dropping, I mean, they have to drop this goal, this uh, this this uh, Gogeta, because uh, he's gonna be saving Global's ass, okay? Because listen, without this Gogeta, Global is probably gonna be dead for like the next month, right? So, I mean, Gogeta is definitely gonna be the do next Dokkan Festival unit here. So, that's my two cents, my boys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button, sub, uh, sub for more videos coming down below, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, um, and uh, hopefully, I see you guys on the next one. Peace.